Hey, this is Russ. Let's talk Social Security and Medicare. <laughs> now, these are two topics that I thought I'd never have to talk about, but I am getting up there in age, and uh, my wife says, you know, you should probably learn a little bit about these things before you really need it, so that when the time comes, you are ready to do it. That's a good idea, right? So I am 62 years old right now, so I'm a little too early for Medicare, but I am of the age that I could actually take early uh, Social Security benefits, all right? I think uh, your full benefits hits at 67, if I'm not mistaken. So, so I, I can make a decision now whether I want to retire now or whether I want to uh, stretch it out to the full benefits, okay? So anyways, uh, I did a couple of uh, Zoom meetings uh, with um, our local library, and uh, they were talking about these two topics. So I will tell you that I'm more confused with the uh, Medicare setups than I am with the Social Security, okay? So it's the Social Security kind of makes sense to me how it works, and um, <laughs> Here, here's what I learned. You know, we're, we're kind of losing a lot of the Social Security stuff going on. And, and uh, every year that goes by, uh, there's percentages that are being lost, it seems. So you don't want to wait too long on it. But again, you know, it's it, it, it takes more than just saying that you're going to early retire at 62 or you're going to wait till 67. You got to do a little bit of calculations, apparently, because you want to see where that break even point is and whether you think you're going to live long enough to make it worth it. <laughs> All right. So uh, I th from what I got from uh, these meetings, uh, these Zoom meetings, is that um, if you think you're going to live longer, you might want to hold off because eventually in the long run, you'll, you'll come out ahead, right? And if you uh, take it early, you know, you get paid now, but then your percentages are less. So you got to find where that point where you think you're breaking even. And then once you get past that age, uh, then you're making money, all right? Uh, part of me kind of said, well, <laughs> I understand that, but uh, how, how do you know how long you're going to live and, and is it really going to benefit you that much? So anyways, I, I am totally kind of confused with all this stuff. So I have a lot more research to do. Now, I did do the Medicare Zoom thing too, and I will tell you that is totally confusing. <laughs> And she was talking something about, oh, if you do this for the part A and the part B and the part C and the part D. And I'm going, what is these parts? <laughs> she really didn't uh, explain too well what all these things were. Okay. So I know for that, I'm going to have to really do some research on. Now, um, it's, it's a little depressing when, when you think about it. But realistically speaking, you know, as far as for myself, um, uh, my my uh, my mom's side had fairly good longevity. Okay, uh, my dad's side not so much. All right, but I do take after my mom more than I do after my dad, genetically speaking. I think because I actually look a lot more like my mom, and my my daughter looks a lot more like me. So she kind of takes after my mom's side too. Okay, so there's a very good chance I'm gonna I'm gonna live um, for quite a while. All right. I would say if I'm lucky, uh, mid 80s at least. If I'm not so lucky, it could be any time now. <laughs> so you you got to make some decisions. You know how how long do you think you're gonna live? When do you think you should take this early retirement or not take the early retirement? When do you think uh, uh, the Medicare thing is gonna benefit you? And and how do you figure that out? It's too confusing, quite frankly. It's very confusing. So if you're of my age, or give or take. I think, uh, yeah, looking into it now will probably make it easier when the time comes when you really do need it, <laughs> whenever that happens to be. Too confusing. I can't tell you the actual dates. <laughs> now, I know many of my uh, my viewers are in the age group of about my age, okay? And some of them are a little older, and maybe some of them are a little bit less than I am. But um, if you're around my age, uh, let me tell you, start looking into this stuff now, <laughs> It's going to take a little while to kind of absorb all these things. And um, I think uh, the guy with the Social Security thing, he, he, was a, he was I think he was a financial planner. And so they're, they're of course, hoping that you will um, need their services. So they, they do these presentations for you. And uh, there, there might be some benefit, you know, talking to a financial planner. 
<laughs> and saying, you know, help me figure out when should I take this social security stuff or, or, or should I wait? Okay. Now my wife has said, you know, it's not that hard. You can, you can do some calculations. You can go onto the, uh, uh, the social security website and then register there. And then there's a calculation thing there. It tells you exactly where it is, but there, there was some other uh, things that he was talking about that you can take it off of either your benefits or off of your spouse's benefits or something. And then if yours is done before hers or something, she she can tag on to some additional monies off of yours. It's it's kind of confusing, but uh, if you know the ins and outs of it, it, it is beneficial. It, it actually gains you, uh, uh, gains you several hundred dollars per month uh, just because you knew to apply for something, okay? So in that sense, I think they pay for themselves if you go to a financial planner that can at least help guide you with that. So I might actually end up doing that one day, all right? I think I, I need to do a little bit of research on my own first to understand it, and then maybe go in to talk to somebody about it to find out, you know, is, am I thinking correctly or am I not thinking correctly? Or maybe they can point out stuff that you haven't thought about that could benefit you on the long run. It kind of pays for themselves <laughs> if you do that, right? And and then over the years, uh, you're going to make more than what you paid him for his advice, right? Anyways, that's about all I wanted to say on the topic. <laughs> Uh, look into it yourself. If you're around my age, uh, start getting to know a little bit more about it so that uh, in a couple of years, uh, you'll know what to do. Okay. And if you're already there, comment below. Let me know what you think is the right things to do. <laughs> or if you've had some difficulties like I have uh, trying to understand all this stuff, especially this Medicare stuff. That's, that's kind of confusing. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I will talk to you guys next time.